What's up shooters? Thanks for joining the channel. Welcome back. So in our previous video, we took out the Hornady 108 grain ELD and got it dialed in with Hornady's new 6mm ARC. Out of this Savage 110 chambered and 6mm ARC, we got some phenomenal groups. Got the standard deviation and extreme spread numbers down to the single digits. What that tells me is that this bullet combination, powder and primers are working phenomenal. So today's video is all about the harmonics. We're going to be playing around with Harold's Precision tuner break. Now you can pick these up at heraldsprecision.com. I'll put a link in the description below. They retail for around $90 plus shipping. Now they do offer different thread sizes as well as sizes themselves and they do offer a spiral style uh, break. Now since I shoot in a desert, a spiral break is not a good thing to have. It just kicks up a lot of dust. So no bueno. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go over basically tuning that load playing with the harmonics and seeing exactly what this thing could do. At 100 yards, we got 25 rounds loaded up, and I'm gonna show you guys the process of how to do this thing. Stick around. So folks, to give you guys a general representation of what we're doing today and what harmonics is, is we're gonna be shooting for groups while messing with the brake tuner, adjusting the weights. With the tuner brake set at zero, you take your first three shots. Notice the groups aren't that good. You adjust the tuner brake at setting two, take three more shots, notice it tighten up, you adjust it two more times and notice it really tighten up. And then finally, another two times, and you'll see the groups starting to open up. What you see here is your harmonics. This sinusoidal wave is what we call node in the precision world, otherwise known as resonance frequency. And the goal for precision is to get that node or resonance frequency at the muzzle. And that's going to get us the best groups possible. Now, if you're a hand loader, perhaps you went out doing some load development one day, found that you had really good standard deviation and extreme spread numbers. However, your groups weren't that good. What that tells you is that your bullet, powder, and primer combination works. However, your harmonics are out of balance. Now there's two ways to compensate this. One of them is bullet seating depth. The other one is using a brake tuner such as this one. So if you're not a believer about barrel harmonics and your barrel whipping around, here's an awesome clip from the X-Ring with Mini X shooting a 223 Ackley Improve. Pay attention to the muzzle. Did you catch the barrel jump? If not, let's watch it again. And with Mini X behind that rifle, it's a complete tack driver. By the way, check out the X-Ring channel. I'll put a link in the description below. It's a great channel if you guys want to learn about long range precision shooting. All right, so I got a fresh clean barrel, got all the copper out of it. So we're starting fresh new out of this bore. And I got 25 rounds loaded up with a uh, load that we developed the other day. So how this is going to work is we're going to do three shot groups. If the first two bullets aren't touching itself, we're going to move on and adjust the tuner brake to the next setting. Starting at zero, let's go ahead, do three shots or two and continue on. So I wanted to show you guys the shot sequence starting at, at zero and going up in threes. Unfortunately, I didn't get any results as you can see here. All right, so not seeing the results right away, 25 shots in. The harmonics are barely changing. The groups are holding just underneath a minute. So I'm going to head back to the reloading bench, load up some more, and uh, continue on. Uh, we stopped roughly at uh, 22 here. So I have hope, but as of right now, I'm not seeing much change. Let's head back to the reloading bench, head back out here. So for quite a while, I wasn't seeing any changes downrange until I got to the brake tuner setting number 35. On the top right, that's when things started to really tighten up, and I stepped it up in one. So at 36, I got a pretty good group, and that's the middle left, and I went to 37, and you can see it starting to open up. Then I went down to 34 on the bottom left, and that opened up as well. That told me that was in between the node. All right, so here's the final results. Definitely at 36 is definitely there is the harmonic node on that barrel. So 
I verified that by doing two three shot groups. Um, here it is up here. That, just trying to zero out my rifle. That was the first three shot group there. You got a two in one hole, one just touching. And then I got the rifle zeroed as much as possible. I think at about 0.1 mil high, but uh, that would do. Um, three shots, obviously, clover leaf. Definitely uh, under half minute group there. So roughly, uh, probably I'm, I'm gonna think just sort of a quarter. But I'll throw the group size up there for you. Uh, these were the first two shots, so disregard those. But obviously, uh, it's pretty consistent. Here it is at 35. You can see where the node was coming in. I jumped up to 37. Then I went down to 34. Then to 36. And that's where I saw it coming back together again. So between 35 and 36. 36 was what I settled on. Well, folks. I'm going to say that the Harrell's Precision Muzzle Brake definitely is an awesome tool. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. It took around 45 rounds uh, to get it dialed in. So a little bit of patience and persistence. Came back out here in the range. Obviously, I lost daylight. So using flashlights. <laughs> Doing what I can to get the video out to you guys today. So like I said, if you guys want to grab yourself your own Harrell's Precision Tuner Brake, I'll put a link in the description below. I want to know your guys' feedback. Throw a comment below. Let me know what you think of the barrel tuner. Obviously, playing around with harmonics today, you could definitely see that or the barrel tuner itself was uh, deviating the point of impacts on here. So finding that resonance frequency at the muzzle tip is key. Consistency as well, as well as uh, your capability. So in order to get groups like this, obviously, all of that has to be a trifecta or work together. Well, folks, that's really all I got today. I want to say thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to this video if you like this. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. As always, stay safe out there, folks. I got more videos coming up, uh, shooting the six arc. Be testing out some more bullets later on. As always, folks, stay safe. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I'm filming. Hey. You pyros. Get out the way. Oh let's yeah. Go, let's go, let's go. Fire in a hole. Back up. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, buddy. Red, white, and blue. America, baby. <laughs> what else we got? Candle. Roman candle? Yeah, Where, yeah. You have any more? Uh, Did you guys already you use all the Roman? Yeah, I want to use this. <laughs> Here, light it. I, I know how to I know how to do I know how to do the candles now. You do? Yeah. Well y'all better run. Oh, come on, buddy. You don't want it? Come on. <laughs> oh, you suckers.